You call it suffering. God got you going through. The devil is a liar. supply your every need to master. I wasn't going here, but I got to go here. The life he gave you, he supply your need. Yes. If you call the minister the ministry that you're in, God supply your need to do the ministry. Yes. If your need is not being met to do the ministry, you better check your ministry. Yes. Because when the need comes in, God supply every need that comes to supply the ministry of the kingdom. Yes. Not, not your personal life. Yes. But it's benefits in Christ. Yes. Uh, when you do the work of Christ, you'll get the benefits of your house and everything else will be taken care of. Yes. That's a benefit. See, you first give you have no right to add all those things to be added. That's a benefit. Yes. Just don't worry about it. Just get you another job. Don't worry about it. It's your another job. It's alright. It's alright. Get you another job and do something else. It's alright. Hey God. Because you want to do what you want to do. And cancel out what God wants you to do. And still think you're going to get the blessing. When He called you to be on that job, the minister. But you'll quit it because you don't like it. Let me move on and get something else right here. Let me get off that right now. That ain't bad. So I just felt something. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. So, 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 Ahab getting drunk, having a party, him in the kingdom, the whole kingdom, good thing, the enemy, God kept the enemy away. They weren't coming in now because he was in a famous, so they had nothing to take no way. So, so they was all having a good time, and, but a lot had to go up. See, see, you have to understand, a leader's job is never done. Yeah. While you living and running around town spending money, his job is still not done. Why you having pool parties and, and get togethers and traveling and the family and you, his job is not done. Oh, <laughs> you got to have somebody in your life that stay before the Lord. Hallelujah. And it ain't you. But no more. Help me reach words. We read something. Here. So Ahab put up the heat and drink. Hold it right there. Now you want to be celebrating. You want to be celebrating. When we come to church, you want to be celebrating. You want to be praising God, lifting God up. Because God has promised us some things in His word. And we ought to be declaring it by praising and worship. Yeah. We ought to come in excited by God. Excited by what God is doing. Because we come to celebrate what God has already prophesied in our lives. So we come in here and rip it off, breaking the flesh of his rejection and causing everything that we've been through that week not to interfere with our kingdom life. Yeah. Right. And we come with praise and worship because in spite of what we're going through, we believe God. In spite of what they're going through, we believe God. In spite of how I'm feeling, I believe God. In spite of what they're going through, I believe God. So I overcome it, I press my way in and give God praise and give it glory. Because his word should not come back on. Since you have a problem with belief and faith and got it mixed up, you don't feel you need to do that. Glory to God. You feel you can just walk in here, flop down the seat. Thank God we got some things to hold you up. Flop down the seat and just look. Because you have got to the place where you think you've got faith where it is no faith. All you got to do is show up. And you think the message is going to flow on you. That's a lie from the people. Because faith without works is dead. And you have no action in your life or excitement. Because faith to bring to reality come out and bless you. I'm sitting at the door and 
and I'm looking right now, I see faith trying to come out the door, but you won't let him out. I see him standing at the door, he's waiting to come out, he's waiting on you to slam it open, but he, he's standing waiting to do what you believe in God to do. He's waiting on to begin to see the praise and he's waiting to shout and praise God, but you won't let him out. He's inside and he's ready to shout, he's ready to praise, but you won't let him out because he's passed with life. But he's ready to come out and praise God. When I say faith is alive, God says the Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That comes out like living water. And get the bubble up with praise and worship. Worship the tears that come out your eyes. And you praise and worship God because you believe it. And the tears that was in the way begin to press out your eyes. Because what holds you down is the hurt and the pain. But you press in the hurt and the pain through joy and peace in the Holy Ghost. And it's coming out your eyes. It's not that I'm sad, but what's in me coming out of me. So God, he's a God that talked to him three years later. 
So he know it's the season, so he went before God, not boasting. Tell my God, you tell me in three India. <laughs> you tell me you're going to bless me and they ain't happy kids. He didn't go before God that way. He knew what God said it will become a path. But yet he was humble before God. You never get bigger than God. You never get bigger than God. Y'all ain't hearing me. Because some of y'all think you're bigger than God. You never get bigger than God when you think you can talk to him eye to eye. Because something he said. Has he bowed down and risen us? Uh huh. And put his faith between his knees. Mm. And said to his son, Go off now and come forth to see. Hold it right now. Now he ain't even saying it. Because he already declared. Yes, sir. You go to God, you, go, you can't shut your mouth. You think you're supposed to go and pray and run your mouth. See, but if you didn't do it right, you go ahead and run your mouth. But if you would have declared something in your life and let that enemy know your days is never and your time is up, you would have went before God and just shut up and begin to know that something great for now. Amen. You ain't prophesied yet. Thank you, Jesus. You ain't prophesied yet. Yeah. According to the promises of God.
spiritual things, minister angels, Holy Spirit, and allow them to operate when I'm talking about spiritual things. I got to stop using my natural mind to try to operate through spiritual things. Stop way above my intelligence and my knowledge. Unless my mind can transform. And this will transform mind speaking this to you. But you have to transform your mind to know that's an order that causes the spiritual things to cooperate with the spiritual things that connects to you. <laughs> but a lion told his servant, but he bent down, he said, Go look. Go, 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 go ahead, Peter. And said to his servant, Go now, go up now. Look for the And he went up and looked and said, There is nothing. Mm -hmm. And he said, Go again seven times. Y'all heard that? Yes. Your first time that you cried. This is a man of God. Yes, that God is doing it. You, you, you ain't there yet. We ain't there yet. But this was a man that God used to. But he didn't get an answer the first time. But you so stuck on stuff to the end of the faith, you're supposed to get an answer the first time. But listen. He saw his servant to go look. He went to look and he came back and he said, I see nothing. I ain't heard nothing, so I guess I just do what I want to do. You didn't wait on the minister angel to come back and talk to you because uh, yeah, you was in a hurry and you was anxious. So typically you didn't get an answer that week, you did what you wanted the next week.
and say I'm broke. Hallelujah. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Like you're the Korean man. It's the decree. Yeah. You can't keep changing it. Because it'll never become a decree. How to stand on the word of God. No matter what. And his word shall not come back for The reason why it's come back for because it has not become a decree. Because you keep changing. Because of circumstances and situations. Glory to God. Y'all let die. Put it up there and leave it there. Speak it and leave it. Don't touch it. Praise God for it. And rebuild that house of sin for trying to make you die. Because now it's more of a spiritual thing, a mind thing than anything else.
why you gotta stop going back up there over and over. You say the same. That's why I can't go change. God would tell me if you don't grow, if you don't change, you don't grow. Amen. And that's why folks ain't changing. Because they keep decreeing the same thing over and over, praying about the same thing over and over. Never making a decree. Never standing on what they say. Hallelujah. So it ain't no rule. It's just excuses. Because you want to decree it and make it a decree. Then the devil know. The demons know. Because you let them know. Through the power and authority of the kingdom. And you don't sound the trauma, and ain't nobody heard it. Because they know you're going to change your tune. So the man of God comes and says, Go look, set them. Say, 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 don't happen. Say, nothing, nothing happened. Say, nothing happened. Oh, Jesus, I'll get you in heaven in the place to see how it's done happen. You can't walk around life and like it done happen. I'm walking around like it done happen. I want to be strong like it doesn't happen. I want to be light like it doesn't happen. And why happens it doesn't happen? See, that's the, that's the way you walk by faith and trust God the way you won't wait. Because you got to walk like it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Stop going by what you see, what you feel, and say it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. I already got that. I got that. I got that. I have that. It's already mine. It belongs to me. And it, it's already happened. And that is a, see, see, oh, oh, oh. that's why you repeat things before it become a habit and a mindset. And the more you repeat something, it changes your mind. It becomes the way you think. Yeah. And when you think, you begin to speak the abundance of your life. I know why. When your mind is changed, the abundance going to come. Because they're already here. That's why the enemy don't want your mind to change. The thing is done. And come back and praise God, lift God up. Like a, uh, Ahab thought he was good. It was done. Hey, 
And then we say, we're going to dismiss them.
when the man of God got that report. What did you do when you got your report that everything was going to be all right? Let me tell you all something about God. He ain't just an all right God. He's an abundant God. And if he touch you in all right, get ready for a bunch. Shut up. 
to look at his business ain't gonna be like this. You want that dime? You want that new game since this Christmas? Don't you worry about it? Cause God's gonna bless it like a bundle, man. He ain't gonna be able to keep these hands. Hallelujah. Cause money kind of tight, and uh, you ain't gonna be able to get nothing but some ice cream and some cookies. <laughs> Just be thankful you got a roof over your head. Because there ain't going to be all that spinning this year. Look at that poverty mindset. Ain't going to be all that spinning. Pray to God if you want a Bobby dog, make you one. I'll show you how to do it with an old pillow. We're going to work this thing out this year. Mine already messed up. Don't be looking for no live tree either. We're going to make our own tree. We're going to go cut our own out of the woods. Pray God that we're going to decorate it. That ain't no real community, but it's a steal of power. Already ready for it. Already ready. Condemn yourself already. Hey, God. Grandma, come to have the kitchen. I know I usually get you something great for triple, but this year, Grandma, you can't grab it. Well, I just make you look cake, okay? Oh, baby, I'm on with your saying, sanctified, say <laughs> When your God is able, he ain't able this Christmas. <laughs> he took vacation. <laughs> Some of y'all ain't saying nothing. Some of y'all already been talking about how I've been here. Y'all been talking about y'all ain't gonna have no chicken, y'all have no chicken. But I'm going to take up the go to Chris Sooks in the salad for a free turkey. Jesus. And you know, if you want a turkey, go to Chris Sooks in Instead of putting that turkey, trying to make a chicken look like a turkey. <laughs> hey, God, come on, if I get you a turkey. If you want a turkey, it didn't me, I get you a turkey. If I kind of old, but I get you one. <laughs> See, I'm going to lose you. I'm ready, I'm ready, Ava. Decree and declare and stick with it. We're going to move in our new house by 2021, 2020. I don't know when it's going to be, but it's going to be in the 20s. It ain't going to be no longer than 20s. 21, 22, 23. I can't put no date on But if I put a date on, I'm decree and declare and that date I'm sticking with it. I can't put a date on something that don't stick with it. Come on, get rest up. So let's get out of here. What is that? Can't get out. 
Could you let the blessings to call what you call blessings to? And let me tell you something about the word. It's never enough. At first it seemed like it is, because it's fresh. But as it get old, that's people on fix fixed income. When they first got that check, they were shot all over the Now you can't get a phrase out. That check was good when it first started coming, money. And I got used to that check, and like, I gotta make it to the end of the month. 